we start off in the museum here. I believe they have their gates open in the summer for entrance outside in the summer hours, but they just haven't changed it yet. So we come into the museum. They have a really cool little um, touch screen display here, which clearly Tobias is having fun on. It's just different animal screens and the changes as you walk on it. Um, and then they have this little mongoose exhibit over here which has a lot of fun little windows down below and a little bubble that kids can pop up in and check out, which is pretty neat. Um, they have dwarf mongoose and hornbill in here. Um, Van, Van Der Deckner's hornbill to be exact. They have a fun little colony, lots of different hidey holes and things. Um, and I like that these are all at kids' height for them to check out. And then... Over here they have a fun little play area that you can come into and it's just got uh, little sections where kids can pretend to be a zoo vet or um, different things like that to play with, different things to dress up with. And they have little signs with the zookeepers around too. in here were donated um, by a big game hunter who later went on to strongly support conservation of these animals. So this was his personal collection and it came to be in the museum and it grew from there. They do have a lot of signs with little buttons so you can hear the different noises. And they have different little things throughout the museum. This is the theater. Tobias, come here. Let's see if it's on. Come on, bud. Press the big button. We're gonna see if it comes on. And they have a green screen set up. Or maybe it's not working. Oh, there it is. Deep in the forest where there is no TV. Swinging from the branches with friends and family. Munching on bananas, dancing in the trees. Doing what comes naturally. And singing, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ee, it comes naturally. <laughs> so they have a lot of nice art around as well. Here they have a egg display. A bunch of different types of eggs and the species they belong to. I've always liked, uh, this of course is your biggest, the ostrich egg, and I've all, emu eggs are pretty cool. This one's really dark, typically they're more of like a greenish blue teal color, so they're really neat. And they have a nice uh, conservation display over here, so it's got the dinosaurs, it says don't let these animals go extinct like me. It's got some uh, endangered animals on there. So Simon Gibbon, Red Wolf, Black Rhino, and Amber Tiger, all of which are critically endangered. Is that a kookaburra sound? Mm -hmm. 
And they have signs at each of these about the different areas it is and the different animals that you can see in the display. Lots of different gazelles and elands. Nice, this shows the different range and sizes of this hoof stop too. No button on that one, bud. Come on. This is like a little jungle area. African tropical forest. It tells you everything here. And a little bit about each animal, which is nice. And here they have like a seasonal exhibit. This is currently their Here There Be Dragons exhibit. We are not going to do this today, but they'd have different rotational exhibits in this little area. Um, as far as I understand, this one contains different lizards and a lot of little dragon type displays, which is pretty fun. Um, it's just an additional fee to go in due to time constraints. We are not going to go through it today. So we got a nice big walrus and the polar bear and the sea lion and then some different scoters. Oh. Got the reindeer over here and the moose over there. Brown bear black bear on this side. It's a very small brown bears. And then they got some swans flying. Turkeys over there. Got a whole little plant lands to spray. Yeah, that's a puppy. <laughs> Goats and the big horned sheep by the mountain lion. Whoa. Here's the puppies. Puppies. Bison with the bison calf. Ooh. What's that, Tobias? What is it? Where are they? Kids play area. Um, these are just soft foam animals the kids can climb on. And a little ride. Snow leopard display up there. And then they have some tanks over here. Looks like this one might be empty. It's dark, which makes me not sure if there's anything in it right now. This little coral fish tank. There's some fine fish in there. So. This little salt water tank. Jam a cardinal, just swam away. There he is. That's a yellow king. I apologize for saying these fish incorrectly. There's a whole bunch of pajama cardinals down there. Fishy. Fish. Fish. That's right. Fish. Let's go. Some fish. Where is he? Where's the fish? Oh, 
You mean it's... shell display over here. He talks a little bit about scallops. And another display over here. Talks a little bit about cor coral reefs. And sponges. Big old trumpet shell. Africa of the wild wind. Interesting. I'm guessing it's just basically a big wooden machine that you can go into. That's kind of fun. So why is this another bear? Bear. Yeah. Another panda bear display over here, which is pretty neat. And then this talks about how they got their panda. So from the Republic of China. And then just a little bit about it. Talks about how there's no more than 700 giant pandas left in the wild. African display, Red River Hog, Lion and back there, some different gazelle and other stuff. Let me come back to the beginning with Everything in this little museum. <laughs> <laughs>